Welcome back! Hello my friends, this is David C. Drake, the Golden Drake, welcoming you back to Hearthstone. And today we have something very special planned. By the way, we are running, as always, on Arch Linux. Just had to throw that in there. But anyway, today we have another class, the Shaman, that is close to 500 wins. But what's extra special is, how are we going to get those last couple of wins that we need? We're going to use this relatively new special mode of play called Duels. So, here is the shaman character that we have available to us here in this duels mode, Instructor Fireheart. Let's put our studies to practice, hmm? <laughs> Alright, and if you've ever played this mode, you know it's pretty cool because you get to uh, create your own deck based on a limited number of uh, cards from your collection, and after each match, regardless of whether you win or lose, you get some special new cards to choose to add to your deck. So everybody's deck keeps getting better and better, stronger and stronger as you go along. It gets very challenging. Um, it's very hard to rack up a lot of wins here, but we should be able to get at least two. And um, so let's get started. First, we need to choose which of these three hero powers we want. These are different than the standard shaman hero power, which involves just creating uh, a basic totem. Uh, we could choose this one to get a random basic totem, or if we're overloaded, summon a non-basic totem. We could choose this one for plus one attack and wind fury, or we could choose this one to not be overloaded by spells and other cards that have the overload feature, which means that they, they take up, they take away one of your mana crystals next turn, basically. Uh, one or more of your mana crystals. Now, another special thing I'm planning to do today is I'm going to make a deck that is very spell focused. It will not have any minions, and so I'm very tempted by this one here. We could include a lot of very overpowered spells that involve the overload feature, but yet we wouldn't need to pay that overload price. So that is a very tempting option. This one might be nice too. I mean, maybe I could throw in some weapons in addition to spells. I mean, totems would be fine as well. But uh, totems, that would only be especially good if I were making a totem themed deck, but I'm not going to include any minions. And I don't want to make it overly weapon focused. I think I want it to be very much spell damage focused, because I am hoping to get some special cards, special items, as we progress, that will give me uh, spell damage uh, just constantly through my matches. So we'll see how that goes. Now we also need to choose a signature treasure starting out. Um, this one, of course, is tempting. Summon two seven seven flame wreathed faceless with overload four, so we could we could play this spell without having to worry about the overload cost. Um, this is a tough choice. Chaos Storm. After you play a card with Overload this turn, add an Overload card to your hand. I mean, this, I think this is worth more to me. I mean, this one would be neat to bring out two big 7-7 seven, seven hitters, but uh, seven mana, you know, you can't really play this until late in the game, unless we have some things that reduce the cost of our spells. In any case, I'm kind of thinking this is the way to go. This gives us access to some additional random cards that we'll be able to use in the mid to late game. That could be very nice. So let's go with this. Now then, which spells shall we include? I'm mostly going to be focused on dealing damage, but it is good to have some stuff like this that can change the types of minions they have in play, weaken them. So let's see. Oh probably want to keep that included there. Silencing and dealing damage, that's very good. Anything with overload, of course, is a great option. Let's see here. Definitely want the lightning bolt, direct three damage to any target. That is a fantastic card. Yeah, let's include this. Discover a spell damage minion. 
Oh, I'd forgotten about this one. This is a relatively new card. Deal three damage to a random enemy minion. If it dies, recast this. Yeah, why not? Let's go back here for a second. Guidance, that one's pretty good. I'll give us yet another way to get some additional random spells. Let's see here. Eight damage to a minion. Heck yeah. This one's pretty darn good too. Deal two damage to a minion and a random adjacent one. Upgrades when you have more mana. Fantastic. We're already adding a lot of cards though. We've got 10 out of our 16 maximum initial allotment of cards. So we might have some tough choices ahead. Hmm. Feral Spirit gives us a couple of 2-3 Spirit Wolves with Taunt. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Spells that create creatures are going to be important for me since I'm not including any creatures or minions in this deck. Minions is the term preferred by Hearthstone. I sometimes say creatures just because that's kind of the term for Magic the Gathering. I'm still used to that to some extent. But uh, anyway, discover a one cost minion and summon it. Upgrade it for each overload card you played this game. Oh, heck yeah. We need that. Healing spells might come in handy, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we have room for that. I want to focus mostly on being offensive. Lava Burst for sure. Direct five damage to any target. Deal three damage to all enemy minions with Lightning Storm. Yeah, I might want that. Three damage to a minion, give your hero plus three attack. That can be useful. Tidal Surge, a lifesteal spell, that can be nice too. This is where things are going to be getting more difficult. If I were including minions, this guy would be very tempting. Nature spell damage plus three. Speaking of which, what kinds of spells do we have here? Nature, fire, nature, nature, arcane, fire, nature, 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 arcane, nature. So far, it's very nature-centric. That is also kind of a recent addition to the game. They didn't used to classify different spells and cards in, in these ways, but... Uh, they added that, it, you know, most of the time it doesn't matter, but they do have some added functionality where occasionally there will be cards now that do have an effect that's specific to fire spells, arcane spells, nature spells. Um, anyway, let's see here. What else do we want to add? Being able to transform a minion into a frog is pretty nice. I already kind of have that covered with devolving missiles. Let's see. Doomhammer is tempting. This is a weapon that has an overload cost. Wind Fury. Yeah, I might want to include Doomhammer. Hmm. What else? The Rune Spear is very fun. After your hero attacks, discover a spell and cast it with random targets. Ooh. I'm a little tempted to put that in instead of Doomhammer. So I'm also thinking of putting in Runic Carvings. Summon 4 2 2 tree ant Totems or Overload 2 to give them Rush. Um, that can be quite useful, but then again... Then again, but I prefer to just have a volcano or something like that to get rid of a whole bunch of their minions when I need to. Let's double check a couple things here. This one's kind of tempting too, but then again, so far I'm keeping this pretty full of low cost spells. There's not a good chance of corrupting that card. To corrupt a card requires casting a spell or playing a card with a higher cost than that, so yeah, I'm not so sure about that.
Let's take another look at what we got so far. We got a nice weapon here. Lots of spells for dealing damage. Volcano would be a good addition. Now the question is, is there anything in here I want to replace? For example, Doomhammer. Do I definitely want Doomhammer or would I prefer the Rune Spear? I can bring out Doomhammer earlier. Deal four damage each turn, but then again, hmm. This is tough. Maybe I want the Doomhammer and the Rune Spear. Is there something else I'd be willing to get rid of? <laughs> Deck building can be a lot of fun, but it can also be <laughs> very difficult. Trying to narrow down which cards you really care about the most. I think I'm going to remove Doomhammer as much as that pains me. I'm gonna throw in the Rune Spear instead. And then I think I'm happy with everything else in here. I think we have a very good chance of having a great run. Now let's also choose a special card back, because, come on, who wants to stick with the standard classic card back? Much more fun to choose something a little more interesting and that goes along with the theme of your deck. So, for a nice spellcasting shaman like ourselves, which one of these do we want? Want something focused on nature and the elements? Well, let's see. None of these are jumping out at me right now. Let's take another, another look through these. Um, I mean, there's a few good candidates here and there. Hmm. You know, I kind of feel like this would be her style. So let's go with the Shadow Pawn card back. And we are ready. Have you finished building your duels deck? You won't be able to make any changes after you confirm. Yeah, we're good. Let's do this. So far, <laughs> we are in the wonderful position of having zero wins and zero losses. We'll see how this goes. I don't always have the best luck with duels. So I have had some runs with three losses and zero wins. Here's hoping we don't end up in that position. <laughs> I think I should be able to get at least two wins. Maybe five, maybe a lot more. We shall see. Spells be the greatest weapon of all. I won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. <laughs> These characters tend to be a little spunky. A little more than I would like sometimes, but oh well. I can shuffle that back in. Alright. Alright, fair enough. Keep these two. Playing against a mage should be an interesting matchup. Let's get ourselves a couple of extra spells. Fantastic. Okay. Never be afraid of your inner power. The 
duels mode involves special versions of each class, or, or in other words, like special characters to represent each class, as you can see here. Um, but I am pretty sure that duels wins do contribute to that 500 total that I mentioned, and there shouldn't be any funny visual bugs, but there could be if we do achieve those 500 wins while using this hero who looks different than the standard shaman hero. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay, we're not going to do a whole lot until they get more minions out in play. My opponent's name is Tutorials. Very interesting. I like that name. There are a lot of creative uh, gamer tags and usernames that people choose these days. It's, uh, well, I guess it's always been that way, really. Ever since usernames on computers and the internet were a thing, people have displayed a lot of creativity uh, with those things, and I always enjoy that. Oh, -hoo. so I have this Chaos Storm card. Do I want to go ahead and use that now? Eh, probably not. Probably not. Let's hold off. My opponent's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. What I have up my sleeve here. Oh. Interesting. Well, next turn we'll be able to play Tiny Toys, that will be good, but is there anything we want to do this turn? I guess there still isn't. Okay. I just hope that my opponent doesn't make me draw cards, that could be bad for me at this point. I have nine cards in hand. If you go beyond ten, cards beyond ten disappear. They get destroyed. If you're a Hearthstone player, I will be very curious to hear what do you think of this duels mode? Or for that matter, what do you think of the arena mode, the uh, battlegrounds mode? What, what, what do you think of this game overall? What, what are your favorite ways to play it? Do uh, you enjoy the tavern brawls also, or, or do those kind of bore you? I, I like some of the tavern brawls. Some of them I have mixed feelings about, but they're usually pretty good. Now then. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play Tiny Toys. Summon four random five cost minions, make them two two. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Did you graduate with honors? Here's Let's go ahead another and get rid of this test. One. Here's another yeah, one. test. And now, unfortunately, she has a phoenix with spell damage plus two. That's not good. And appropriately enough, in this blizzard game, we have just faced a blizzard. She's also got this quest. It's kind of a progressive quest that she is, of course, making progress on. And if she gets to the end, she'll get a character that gives her permanent spell damage plus three. That's something we want to avoid if we can. This one, why not? Potions, flash, give me a link. I got it all. Just 
do a little bit of that. I'll do this. Now, I know I could have used Chaos Storm that turn, and that might have been kind of good, but I... I don't know, I'm a little nervous about getting my hand a little too full, and I think I'll have a chance to put that to good use next turn or sometime soon. We'll see. They don't seem to have a very minion-centric deck themselves, though, so... I'm also a bit nervous that I might not have as much use for some of these minion damaging spells as I was hoping. So again, for those of you who are Hearthstone fans, please do tell me down in the comments how you like to play this game, what you enjoy the most. Like, do you ever do crazy things like what I'm doing here where you try to make decks that are... Uh, only spells, or at least not any minions, that type of thing. Um, or do you prefer making minion focused decks? Now we could use the Rune Spear, that might be fun. Okay, let's go ahead and use Chaos Storm. Oh wait, that one doesn't have Overload though. Could use that one. And this one, why not? Now, if you were to place bets, what would you be thinking so far? Do you think I'm going to win this first match or no? I'd say the odds feel a little bit 50-50-ish to me right now. I mean, I'm definitely not feeling great about having less than 10 health left. But at the same time, unless Stone they have never unless they have some very impressive high damage spells they can play here pretty quick, I think I might have the upper hand. Let's see here. I should go ahead and just use the volcano. That is pretty tempting. Then again, I could use this. Well, yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and use the volcano. Get rid of those minions. Hopefully they won't summon too many more this turn. If so, next turn I might be able to get the Rune Spear into play. I love things that involve being able to discover a new card, or casting random cards, casting spells with random targets. Personally, I think stuff like that is a lot of fun. Some people don't like the random aspects of Hearthstone. But for me personally, I think that's one of the great benefits of playing a digital card game, is that you can so easily do a lot of random stuff that are not quite so easy to randomize necessarily in that tabletop card game. Now, I'm thinking it might be time to use those Devolved Missiles. So let's do that. Excellent, excellent. And let's go ahead and let's attack with the Rune Spear. Here's I'm going to attack the hero. See what kind of spells we get to choose from. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Excellent, excellent. So I'll get me a couple of duelists in play. And let's go ahead and get rid of that pesky minion. I have three cards left. They only have one. Oh no. This is not good. Please tell me you are not gonna... Oh, oh no. Done your studies. <laughs> well, well done, Tutorius. You were indeed a worthy opponent. Oh well. At least we'll get some new cards to add, including a treasure. So which treasure do we want? Hmm. This passive ability, unfortunately, I think will not work for me because I cannot truly be overloaded. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's out. Neutral minions, that's not going to help me much. I mean, sure, I might randomly summon minions now and then, but eh. After your first Discover and enter and get another copy of that card, how many things do I have that involve Discover? Well, that one doesn't count. This one does. Ooh, and there's one. And this one as well. Presumably, this one will count. Even though it's immediately cast, I think I'll get another copy in my hand. This one sounds great. Open the door. Please. And now I get to choose one group of three cards. Now, I don't want minions necessarily. Probably this. That gives me another Discover card as well. Yes. We'll go with this one. Spells Unleashed indeed. Here we go. This time we're going to win. Hopefully this one and the next one. And then we'll see that beautiful 500th win. Fireheart versus Elusia. May cooler heads prevail. Is this my review, Lady Beroff, or a challenge? Okay. We can draw that one later. Okay, that sounds good. Never be afraid of your inner power. Ah, it's you. So this priest has chosen the healing hero power. This should be an interesting matchup. Two copies, that's nice. All right. I love this room. You shall not Did I say shrinking room? I meant shrieking room. Anyway. Oh yes, here we go. Is there anything else I want to cast as well? Probably not yet. How dare you steal my cards? Or copy them, anyway. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and play one of these. 
explosions, flasks, BOE, I got it all. And just sit tight for now. Hopefully that minion will survive. I do have my doubts though. It's a very good chance. Ah, yeah, there we go. But we'll have another one to summon next turn. Let's get rid of both of those. I fight. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. An autocrat. I suppose. This opponent is named Dr. Pete. Hmm. Well, Doctor, you seem a formidable opponent, but I think I'm going to win this one. Let's see here. Tough choices right now, though. Silenced and destroyed. Now let's cast some of these. The opponent's down to 10 health. Now they do have a lot of healing capability, so hopefully we can keep this damage coming. We might be able to bring this to a switch conclusion. We'll see. Spell damage plus two. Here we go, discover a six cost minion. Let's do this. Interesting, interesting, okay. I think I'll go with the Omnix Mage Scribe. Magic is not a Sure enough, there's another copy. Whoa. And, and that's what you got, because I got no minions. Let's go ahead. Magic is not a and get us some new random spells. Both of these dragons. Do not fight. lose these. Be careful with that. Uh-oh. They've got a rune spear of their own. What's it gonna be, Dr. Pete? Okay, okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I see you've done your study. Okay! So there's victory number one. And now, what treasure do we get to choose? Ooh, yeah, that could be very good. The party portal. Or give a minion plus four, plus four. Taunt. Eh, or kind of a eh, just okay weapon. Definitely the party portal. Now, one danger with this is later on we might get to choose a treasure that will remove minions from our deck while also giving a spell damage plus two permanently. In which case this party portal will not come in handy unless it's in my starting hand. Then I still get to hold on to it. In any case, let's go with the party portal. Hope for the best. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Okay, this lily pad lurker is one I have not really seen in play yet. If I played an elemental last turn, I get to transform an enemy minion into a 0-1 frog with taunt. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be minion focused though, so I better go with overloaded. Now this guy's ability has plus one attack while you have overloaded mana crystals, so that I don't think that'll ever come in handy. But these other things, they will. So let's go with that. First win. Now let's go for our second. Another thing I'm curious about, if you play this game, what's your favorite class? Do you like Shaman? What do you think? Fireheart versus Lillian! Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Yes. I won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. There we go. Okay. Um... You know what? I'm gonna try to redraw all of these. I really do want that party portal in my starting hand if I can manage it. But no such luck. Okay. Ooh. Hello. What is it ready to fight? Never be afraid of your inner power. So they chose a treasure that allows cards that didn't start in their deck to cost one less. Eh, I'm not too concerned about that. Ooh. Now they're making it even better for themselves. Reducing the costs of, of new cards added to your hand, that, that can be very useful sometimes. We'll see how well this plays out for Mr. Uh, Mr. or Ms. Trinky Pants. Frankie Pants, that is a fantastic gamer tech. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Scrolls, I like this card a lot. Then again. Yeah, I better go with this one. It'll give me two more chances to discover a spell, and I'll get two copies of each one. Oh my. Yeah, I guess I might as well get rid of this minion. I have a poison for every situation. Oh my. A charming composition. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and choose Frost Shock since that'll come in handy right now, already. Then again, actually, I'll probably want to use this instead. Or not. Did you graduate with honors? Crosses the uncrowned. Uh oh. Now they have a copy of the Steward of Scrolls. Do a little more of this. 
this one could come in handy. If I get in trouble, that one will be very nice. No, I got two of them. Let's get rid of you, Mr. Apothecary. <laughs> What are you going to do? What could be in here? Okay, that's pretty good. Go! When I play Rogue, that Eviscerate card is one of my favorites. Well, this is tough. Let's see. Nine cards in hand. Okay. Spell damage plus two. Destroy my guy. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Potions, flasks, BOE, I got it all. You're about to get dunked. No, you can't roll me. There are two things I can't stand. Mouthy students and ignorant teachers. Yeah, I like to get a little bit cheeky now and then. Yeah. I don't mean anything malicious by it. I think it's just kind of... To me, it's kind of a fun part of the sort of role play of the game. Like, in a way, you are sort of, I think, <laughs> I, I, th I think you are to some extent meant to sort of role play a character. Um, some people might not see it that way. I think as long as you're not being too obnoxious, I think it's, I think it's fun to, you know, draw it a little taunt now and then. Well, here we go. you can't roll me. Here's another. Do, 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 do. Okay. Achieve shaman victory. Here we go. I think this is it. I think this is 500. Let's see. Oh yeah. There it is. Heck yeah. There is our golden standard shaman. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so this is my third class that I've gotten to 500 wins with. That was a lot of fun. I think we'll go check out what kind of reward we get. Well, in just a moment, let's pick our new treasure for this deck. Getting to summon treants whenever I cast a nature spell. Heck yeah, that's the one we want to go with. Spreading seconds. And which cards to add? Those ones are tempting. Oh, there's lots of good stuff. I think I better go with this one. Great. Okay. Now. So there's our second win. Now what I was going to say was, before we do anything else, I want to go and check out what we get for completing the associated quest. 
or I should say the associated achievement. Down here, Shaman Victory. Win 500 games as Shaman in ranked arena or duels. Oh, Golden Alakir, the Wind Lord. Charge, Divine Shield, Taunt, and Wind Fury. This is a fantastic card. Okay. That's a pretty cool reward. And as you can see here, for these ones that you win 500 games with, there, there is a further achievement if you get up to 1,000 games. I do not know yet what you get for that. I'm sure I could just look it up, but whatever. I'm going to leave that a mystery. It's going to be a long time until I ever reach that point anyway. But uh, hey, you know what? For now, let's continue this video for a little while. Let's see how much farther I can get in this duels run. Because I'm feeling pretty good about this deck at this point. I think we've collected some excellent treasures, added some great cards, almost entirely spells still. And um, yeah, let's just see how far we can go. the ways of my forest. I won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. All right. I like Omu. Omu's a fun character. And this opponent... Be one with nature. Their name is Lalouche. Okay. Never be afraid of your inner power. Lalouche, today you face the Golden Drake. I definitely will not claim I'm like professional level or anything even close to that in terms of playing this game. But you know, I, I'm okay. I'm pretty good. I, I know a thing or two. Nice, nice. And let's remember, every time we cast a nature spell now, we will get a 2-2 treant creature or minion, whatever you want to call it. Aggressive quests, I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm a big fan of them. I've only collected one of them so far, and I wasn't a huge fan of that one, the one that goes with the uh, Demon Hunter class. But, you know, I mean, it's mildly interesting. Let's go ahead... well... Yeah, fine, let's go ahead and... Start dealing some damage. A teaching moment. Thanks. Not a whole lot we can do right now. Let's just attack and be done. Perhaps I was a bit premature bringing that Evolved Cobalt out, but then again, if you don't play anything, if you don't play any cards for a while, you're gonna start having a full hand. And that's dangerous too. You know, this will work. I see you are thriving. Thanks. Oh no! Okay, here we go. 
but uh, not yet. Now please summon a bunch of treants or something like that. Come on, you know you want to. We'll summon one big beastie that I can destroy with a crushing hand. You know what? I did make a mistake in this match that I often make when I'm playing duels for a while. I did not pay really close attention to what treasures this opponent has active right now. I should have paid more attention to that. Oh my. And that's a lot of damage. Okie dokie. Get a couple of spells. Oh, nice, 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 nice. You have outgrown my patience. Thanks. Well, hmm. Let's do maybe this spell. Very interesting. I will attempt to cast this one, but I probably should. Well, I think I'm going to lose. Hmm. I see you've done your study. Yep. Well done, Druid. You got me this time. Nobody messes with my friends. Thank you. All right, all right. Stop showing off. Okay. Let's go ahead and proceed to our next match. Hopefully we're not going to be eliminated here in our next match. We will see. I think I should be able to get a couple more wins in uh, now. Hmm. I do like this Staff of Scales quite a lot. Three 1-1 one, one snakes with Rush, Poisonous, and Reborn. That's very useful. Okay. Oh, nature Spell Damage. There's our good old buddy Brucon. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I've only got one life left. You know, if I do lose out now, that would not be such a big deal. Like, in this case, since I was really only aiming for at least two wins, so I could get that 500th win, that was all I really cared about. So... Let's Are just see how this goes. To ruin my espionage? I yes. won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Never be afraid of your inner power. Done. I love how they added that job's done audio for when your turn's over. That's just fantastic. If you don't recognize that, most of you probably know. But for those of you who don't, that comes from the sound of orc peons when they're done with the task in um, Warcraft 3. Actually, my mistake. That might not be the orc peons. That might be the human peons, the human uh, workers when they finish a task. One of them says that. Okay, let's discover a couple new spells. Great. Mr. or Ms. YG Trees. 
Some of these gamer tags or usernames, I have no idea how to interpret them. I'm just like, whatever. Part of that might be initials, part of it might mean something, I have no idea. Here's another test. Got rid of that pest. Come on now. There we go. My turn. Come on, summon some minions. Do something interesting. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's go with the imprisoned phoenix. Get both of them in play. Excellent. And I think, well, here's another it. test. I don't think this character is going to be healing themselves. It's possible, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Blaster, uh oh, that's bad news. Okay. What have you got? You've got five no mana. One escapes the grave. Ooh, death rattles can't trigger. Have some fun. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And this. And at this point, well, tough call, but I think I'll just have much time. time. And we'll call it good. Now, of course, I expect this rogue opponent to destroy at least one. Okay, they silenced one of my phoenixes, so I'll just destroy the other one. That's no good. So much backstabbing. And at least you had to waste that attack on a little 0-2 taunt totem. So, maybe I'll go with this. I 
Where should I? Huh. Tough call. I'm a little tempted to go ahead and cast a couple of overload spells. I probably should. Never be afraid of, of your, your inner, inner power. power. Um. Your school is evil. Even more than schools usually are. Thanks. What was that? I'm gonna hold on to that for now. A little tempted to cast that, but I, I think so if we can get a few run? more overload cards played, maybe get this up to a nine cost minion. I think that would be really good. Eight or nine. I shouldn't be waiting on this, but then again, I mean, it would be good to. It would be very good for this hyper blaster to be out of the way before I try bringing out anything significant. Of course, if they attack something with a lot of attack power, they're going to be taking a lot of damage. So, there still is some benefit to that. Even if they do kill it, they are not immune while attacking with that thing, or are they? No, they are! Oh yeah, I forgot that's part of it. They are immune while attacking. So yeah, I definitely don't want to summon any big bruisers right now. Unless they have Divine Shield, but I can't count on that with this one. Too much of a risk. So what's it gonna be, huh? Are you gonna kill some of my... I'm almost out of time. ...lovely little serpents? Tried my best. Okay. Well, well played. I did not. I didn't see that as, as them being hopeless, but whatever. In any case, there's my third win. Mm, plus one, plus one for each spell you cast this game. Destroy minion, gain its attack and health. Yeah, we'll go with Krusty the Crustacean. So at this point, we do have a handful of minions in the deck. One weapon. Oh, actually, two weapons at this point. And then a whole bunch of spells. Um, it's still very spell-centric, of course. And uh, most of the minions that are in there are also, you know, part of that spell-centric theme. So I'm okay with that for now. If I come across that treasure... Oh, hey, are you a new professor? <laughs> you can always withdraw from the competition, professor. If I do come across that treasure that lets me uh, have, oh, let's see here. This is tough. Yeah, let's get rid of that for now. Anyway, if I do come across that treasure that gives me the option to have all my minions gone at the beginning of each match, you know, all the minions taken out of my deck, and then have spell damage plus two, I, I think I'll probably still take that. So I have to watch out for this. After I play a minion, that minion's going to take one damage. But I'm not going to be playing a lot of minions, so yeah, not a big deal. And that will not... That will not happen for the Treants that I summon. You know, let's go... 
Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. All right, stewardess scrolls. Bye. Don't, don't have much time. But yeah, this is only. These caltrops will only hurt minions that I play. In other words, that I play from my hand. It will not hurt things that are just summoned as an effect of a spell or ability like this. Okay. Now I need to decide, do I want to get rid of that egg or not? Ah, oh, shoot, this is tough. Here's another test. I don't want them to have eggs or any death rattle minions hanging around for too long because every turn they can do this. They've chosen this hero power that triggers a friendly death rattle. That can be very deadly over time. Nice. Okay, oh boy. So now the question is how long am I going to just sit tight? Alright, this is a gamble, but I'm not going to use these spells right now. I'm going to wait until later when they're going to be much more powerful. Hopefully I do not regret that decision. Right. This is going to be bad. Ooh. Well, let's go with one of these. A charming composition. Go with some bloodlust. I bet that'll come in handy later. Two of them. And let's Here's get another test. Gamer Garf, really? Muzzle there. How's it going, Garf? Is that short for Garfield? Garfunkel? What is that? Okay. Well. That stinks. That really stinks that my spells cost more this turn, but I've got Krusty the Crustacean. Thank you, Krusty. Attack the hero. Yes, they'll be able to kill Brookon one way or another, but that's fine. We need to really start putting the pressure on next turn. If I still got a bunch of minions, I can start playing some Bloodlust, among other things. So, 
Let's see how it goes. Oh. Did you graduate with honors? That's no good. Now I wish I got rid of that egg. This is not good, my friend. Oh, I wish this was a nature spell. Rush and life still that's pretty darn good. Hmm. I might be able to kill the opponent. I might be able to kill the opponent. I think I can. Let's do this. Yep. <laughs> Even without those spells, I didn't realize how close I was. I see you've done your studies. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm not always careful to, uh, to just look at the board a little more closely, do the math, and realize, yeah, I've easily got this one this turn. Um, that can be an unfortunate weakness sometimes. It's good to be quick about noticing that stuff, because your turn time is limited. And if you're not careful, you can really lose those opportunities. the worst thing that can happen is when you really do have a major upper hand, you don't realize it, you're nervous because you can see your opponent might be able to defeat you the next turn, and that's all you're focused on is how to get rid of their minions or whatever, instead of going face, as they say. In other words, attacking the opponent <laughs> directly, attacking the opponent's hero character, and uh, dealing direct damage to them in whatever ways you can, because that's the only thing that really matters is if you can bring them to zero health, while you still are above zero health, that's all that matters. Fireheart versus Trollion! A friendly match then, Instructor Fireheart. Sorcery versus Plate. <laughs> I like it. Okie dokie. Not bad. Never be afraid of your inner power. Interesting. Okay. So my opponent's neutral cards are going to be very powerful and easier to bring out. That is unfortunate, but I think I might be able to pull this off. This does make me a little bit nervous. I don't like this paladin hero power. At least I don't like it when I'm against it, is what I mean. <laughs> Summon a friendly minion that died this game with one health. That can be very nice, especially when you've got guys with uh, Divine Shield and whatnot. Um, okay. Okay. some blockers in play, at least. use one of these. And 
then this. Not too shabby. This is not what we stood for. Uh oh. Where are my devolving missiles when I want them? Let's see what we can get here. Probably don't want that. Is it even worth keeping? I mean, there's a tiny chance, so fine. I'll take them both. Um. Okay, I'll take the five damage. Here's another test. Let me do this. And that's that for now. This is not what we stood for. Until he brings him back. I yeah. must have this is a frustrating hero soul. power to be up against, but we might still be able to pull off a win. Um, Let's hope that we must defend Stormwind. Let's hope you that they are not able to make short work of them. They weren't, but this still is not looking so great. Okay, so oh my. Well, let's go ahead and do some of this. Just deal as much damage as we can. Make hay while the sun shines they say. Oh boy. That's the kind of spell I was afraid of. The Argent Commander. Okay. This is not going so well. This one in. Another happy guilty. Oh man. If only I could cast this twice. Casting it once is not gonna do me much good. Another happy guilty. There we go. That's not too bad. So Well done! Thank you. Thanks. I can at least... No one saw that. These old bones know as thorns coming! At least get rid of this guy. Uh oh. 12 damage, huh? Or no more. Saw that. Hmm. I see you've done your stuff. Okay. Well. Truly, you were a worthy and formidable opponent, Mr. Focklicious. Focklicious? Really? Focklicious. Probably shouldn't even be saying that in a video. Like, what? <laughs> and what on earth does that mean?
Okay, well that's it. Four wins, you know, that's respectable. Nothing, nothing really super great or whatever, but it's respectable. And we got... We got our main goal accomplished, which was getting to our 500th win as Shaman. And there we go. Some decent rewards for our ghouls run. Let's go ahead and open that pack, and then we will bring this video to a close. I hope you have all enjoyed watching. Please do like and subscribe. And if you want to support all of my creative endeavors, not only making videos, but also working on game development projects, please do check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash... Golden Comet! Ooh! <laughs> patreon.com slash the Drake. Okie dokie. So yeah, I think that'll be that for today. I appreciate you all watching my video. And as always, take good care of yourself. Take good care of everyone around you. Be your best self and live your best possible life. Cheers.